All right, what's cracking, YouTube? It's been a while. So, got a couple more months to the Blade Show. I'm sure I have a lot to say when that happens, because I'll be there, hopefully. I got tickets already, but that don't mean shit. I might have to call in for my job, and they might be a little pissed off just for me to make it. But I don't know yet. So, from there, I'm there. Anyway, just received this from Amazon. Ordered this thing. It was the last one, whatever place I ordered it from, had in stock. Kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't like ordering shit like that, man, because I don't know what I'm going to get. You don't know how much I went through the internet just trying to figure out if there was any fakes of this made already and who was making them, what they look like, and all that good shit. A lot of reviews where people were having the wrap on the handles that was slipping off. You know, this little guy on the back, it is slightly loose but just about as tight as any samurai that I've ever owned in the past from uh, Paul, Paul Chan and Han Wee, classic stuff, battle ready. This thing is a very, very good looking sword. Get a look at the polish there. Mirror polished on the top. It's got like a high satin finish on the bottom. Very nice blade shape. The only complaint I got about receiving this today was the edge was, the edge was kind of fucked up, I gotta say. And it doesn't look like there's any wear on this thing, like, like whoever owned it or sold it off to me, however the hell that happened. I don't know what kind of business they are or anything, but they might have been one of those businesses that ship over, you know, back and forth overseas, and maybe they had to grind the edge off of it for some freaking reason, for some damn bullshit customs deal or something. I don't know. But the edge was a fucking hack job. It wasn't too bad. I actually took my work sharp and all I did was put the polishing blade on it. As you can see, it's still a little bit jagged, but when you ran your finger right down the side of it here, when I first got it, you could feel it on both sides, huge fucking burrs. So I took all the burrs off both sides and it, it feels really good right now. I'm happy with it the way it looks at this point. I did, however, send out a email to cold steel to see if if in the future i could get it razor sharpened by them and sent back to me so we'll see what they say i don't know what their rules are on that shit uh, sending swords back through the mail and sharpen them so no idea i'll find out from them though black lacquer scabbard really good looking scabbard it does pick up a hell of a lot of fingerprints yeah that's me don't leave that behind the crime scene Comes with the bag. This is a really nice looking carry bag. Or not a carry bag, but a display bag. So I will be, I got the katana coming as well. People I ordered it from sent me the wrong fucking one, dude. So now I'm waiting on them to send me the correct order. They sent me the BKW or whatever the fuck it is. Instead of the DW, you know, the Dragon Dragonfly series, they sent me just the regular one. So, waiting on that. As soon as they give me that, I'll send the other one back to them, get that over with, and I'll be reviewing that as well. This does also come with the blue bag. This is just a regular carry bag here. And I will be displaying these things. I got a really nice lacquer finished uh, stand that's going to be on the wall with some uh, like red fiber on it or whatnot. So, it's going to look really nice, I think, especially going against the green green handle here and that nice freaking polished blade it's gonna look really good i don't know how long the blade is on this thing i forget i don't know any of the specs to be honest with you i think it's like 20 i want to say 24 inches or something 24 and a quarter the handle's about eight so katana is obviously a much much bigger than that but i just wanted to show this off i didn't really want to go into too many specs anyway so i wasn't prepared for that if you guys out there are interested in katanas, wakasashis, you know, all, all that kind of battle-ready shit, I think this one is a really nice one to have. You can get the cheaper version, which is what the other company sent to me to begin with. I'm almost kind of thinking, yeah, maybe I should keep that motherfucker too because I won't be, I won't be so hesitant to swing that one around because it's not as pretty. <laughs> you know, I'll be playing with it a little bit, but... You know, it, it, it still is, even though it's the cheaper version of this, it's still $309, which, you know, 1055 carbon steel, I don't know. You know, it's it's got its pluses and minuses, but the Han Wee Battle Ready one I had back in the day was, it was about the same price. A little bit more, I think I paid 1000 for the set of three, but it also came with the Tonto. 
So I had the Tonto, the Wakasashi, and the freaking Katana, and the stand, all back in the day for about a thousand bucks. And I'm talking uh, late 90s, you know, 99, maybe even 2000, somewhere around there when I finally bought them from Plaza Cutlery out in California. But that's it. Just wanted to show that off to you, like I said earlier, as the brass finish. Dragonfly. Pins are looking real good. All this stuff is pretty solid. You'll see some videos out there where it's not very solid at all. And I think any of these swords over time of use, you're going to have a little bit of slippage in this, in the ties anyway. Leather is really the only one that will hold up really nice because if, if you sweat on leather, it dries, it'll get tighter. You know, depending on what the background is and what it's actually sticking against. Plus, you could put a little bit more sticky shit on leather than you can on this. Uh, I know, I've seen some of the cheaper samurai swords coming out where this shit is actually glued on. <laughs> it's glued on to the handle. Yeah, people complain about it and they talk about, I can see glue around the edges, this and that. But I'll tell you what, that, that's how they should do all of them. Because technically, you don't take this stuff off at all if you have to remove the handle. You don't take any of this off. You pull these two pins right here, pull the handle off, and everything else comes off after it. Now, I don't know who the maker of this was. Usually on samurai swords and sets, you will you take the handle off, and it'll actually have the maker's name on it. So I don't know if I was to take this one off, if it says cold steel under it, or if it has an actual maker's name. I could not tell you that. i seen a video just recently, actually tonight, when I wanted to compare mine to his. He did have the handle off, but he was speaking in a foreign language, so I have no fucking clue what he was saying, and I don't know if he mentioned what the maker was on the handle, but it'd be kind of cool to know, so maybe someday I'll take it off and, you know, we'll check it out. Anyway, that's it. Battle ready. Ready to split some domes. Sure as hell won't stop a nuclear bomb, but... <laughs> Really nice sword, man. About a quarter inch thick or more all the way through. I mean, it's a big blade. Very big blade. Anyway, people, that's the Cold Steel Dragonfly Series. Wakazashi. Peace.